Today I've got two mystery boxes to open up from the company Child's Collectibles. This one is a $15 mystery box. It's pretty much, it's a uh, either a big win or a big loss. There's no in between with this one. And this one is a $50 Child's Collectibles Funko Pop mystery box. Six pops in here, four will be commons, two of them will be exclusive, chase, vaulted, grails, and the possibilities are endless, uh, but expect this to kind of be a product dump, and this is also a product dump. So we'll do the small one first. This is the appetizer, let's call it. So this one, they always sell 500 boxes for $15 plus shipping. About 490 of them will be common pops. Okay, Chow's collectible exclusive common pops. The SSGS or whatever, Goku and then the Vegeta something or other. It's full of those. And almost every single box I've bought of these so far have always been those two. But there are usually some of the harder hits to get. There is the Michael Jordan, the all-star variation. There's usually like five of them. And then usually like something crazy like a masked Ochako or like a Frieza or something like that. So the odds to get out something really good are very slim in this box. You really have probably like a one or two percent chance of actually getting out some halfway decent. It's extremely, extremely small chance to get anything out good. So this one is just if you like a very cheap mystery box, but you want to take a gamble to see if you can turn your 15 bucks maybe into like a hundred. It can happen. Somebody has to do it, but 99% of these people, 98%, will get a common Chalice Collectible exclusive pop in this box. Well, this is actually, I think this is the last one I have right now until they drop some more of these. So hopefully I end on a bang. But the bottom of this box will be numbered of which one you get. This is number 448. This is actually one of the last ones that was part of the run. So inside the box here we go i'll show you first is it a good one or is it a common what's it look like is it the child collectibles exclusive yes it is another one so we have the ssgss goku chalice collectibles exclusive i've looked this thing up a few times now it's worth 12 bucks i spent 15 i lost three bucks on this pop so i have like I don't know, like five of these now, six of these. So most of us will get this pop or the Vegeta in this box. You know, that's that's what you're, you're going to get. So I'm done with these small ones, but will I buy more of them? Of course I will, because why? I do mystery boxes and then I sell everything. So like everything you see will be for sale in my eBay store. Most items, some won't, most will it commons won't though commons i sell locally for more money than i do on ebay like this pop will probably be on my ebay store more more likely but if it's not on my ebay it's either sold or hasn't been listed yet so here we go this box was 50 dollars has six pops in it and see how good i do i know on these it's kind of like the same thing though they'll, they'll probably do like 200 boxes only like really like five of them will have like a good hit in it, like a big hit. Most of them will have, you know, some lower in, in exclusives, but these that are 50, you will always get back more than, than what you paid. You always do, always do. Here we go, $50, six pops, four commons. There's protector. So we have two in protectors as always, and then four, no protectors. So here we go, first one, no protector. I'll show the camera first. We have, ooh, the backs is Avengers. And we got Captain America. This is the newest line. This is the Captain America, the uh, the Gamerverse Funko Pops that came out. The Black Widow has a chase on this one, I think. I think it's the only chase possibly is the Black Widow. Well, yeah, Captain America. Got your Steve Rogers right there. Cool. First one, probably worth, you know, 10 bucks maybe in that range. Number two, no protector, and it is Fantastic Four. Is this the thing? It is the thing. Actually, the detail on this thing is actually pretty cool. It really looks good. It actually came out really, really well 
for that pop. They actually did a really good job on that particular mold for that one. Pretty good job. So, there. so the first two boxes look, you know, first looks okay. Box, pretty good condition. I mean, no box is ever absolutely 100% perfect. There's always like small flaws in these boxes. It's freaking thin cardboard. But condition wise, I mean, I'd call it mint. So here we go. Number three, no protector. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's upside down. We got Fight Club on the back of it. I haven't seen this movie for a long time. We got Tyler Durden Fight Club. Cool. We got Brad Pitt. I actually will hold on to this one. Uh, the odds of Brad Pitt doing an autograph signing is like slim to none, but you never know. And I wouldn't mind getting Brad Pitt's autograph, and this would be cool to get this one signed by Brad Pitt. That'd be kind of awesome. So I actually will not sell this one. This one I actually will keep and uh, maybe get signed someday, hopefully. You, you never know. You never know. Inside of this thing, <laughs> I won't read it on video because I don't want to get demonetized, but there's a quote on the back of this flap that you can see. But yeah, cool. Brad Pitt. Next one, no protector, just a common Funko Pop. Who we have? Oh, upside down. Looks like we got Rick and Morty. Something to do with Rick and Morty. Kai, or Kirkland Meeseeks. This is the one I got recently out of another uh, mystery box where his legs were just missing. Somehow they just missed the production line and they just didn't put his legs on him. They just was missing his legs. And I actually sold that uh, actually, I sold it locally to a collector. Pretty good money for it, too. <laughs> Probably more than what I actually wanted to say on camera, but he paid pretty good money for it because, you know, he called it, or, you know, it was kind of like a production error, and I was like, sold. So, yeah, that, that one, a few people have asked me about it, but that one has been sold. The Mr. Me Seeks with no legs, I've already sold. It's gone, and hopefully the, the person loves it because it's a production error, but... Okay, these two are in protectors. Hopefully, one of these is going to be a banger. Let's find out. First one. And... Oh, the back says Pokemon. Okay, so we have... Uh, Pichu? I've never seen Pokemon in my life. It kind of looks like Pikachu, but it's not Pikachu. It's Pichu. It is flocked. Has a sticker on it from the WonderCon 2020 exclusive. I'm sure that convention was canceled. So these probably got released probably on Funko Shop or something. Or probably more likely it was on the Funko Shop. Because all cons this year so far have been canceled. And with uh, ECCC, all their exclusives were just put onto the Funko Shop. SDCC will probably be the same way. They'll probably just drop onto the Funko Shop. And this is probably the same thing, the Funko Shop. Actually, my pretty good value to the Pokemons actually sell pretty well. Well, when they first come out, they sell pretty well, I should say. Last one, though. Last one, Pop Protector. Hopefully, this is going to be a big one. Because I doubt this Pichu is really worth a whole lot. I could be wrong, though. Last one, Protector. We have... The back says Chewbacca. Star Wars Celebration. Uh... <laughs> so this is the shared exclusive. It was probably like at GameStop or FYE or Box Lunch or something. The con exclusive from the last year's um, convention was blue in color. And those go for pretty good money. But the gold ones were shared exclusives with retail stores. And they made a lot of them. So let's see prices on this. I don't think I really did that great. But I got more than what I paid though. But nothing... Really that fantastic. Kirkland Meeseeks, with his legs, sells for a whole, or is worth on the Funko App a whole, nine bucks. Tyler Durden is worth on the Funko App a whole, ten bucks. The Thing is worth a whole, nine dollars. Captain America is worth twenty-two dollars? Okay, we're just going by Funko App value. So, Star Wars Celebration, Chewbacca, this is FYE sticker, shared exclusive, is worth the whole $15.
So the Pichu, I think is what you say it, the FYE, this is the shared FYE sticker. The Con Exclusive is worth $34, but the shared FYE sticker is worth $27. So by going for the overinflated value on this one, which I think is kind of, it's probably off a little bit, $92 in value. I'm saying this is probably about $10 too high, so it's probably more about $80 in value here. So I bought it for $50. I got back probably around like $80. Bucks, and the biggest hit was this Pokemon character. So like probably these two will be for sale online, and the rest I'll probably sell locally. But I'll be keeping this one, maybe to get signed by Brad Pitt someday. Probably not, but you never know. So not the most fantastic two mystery boxes, but you know what? I love mystery boxes. You love mystery boxes. We'll do some more in the future, so stay tuned. <laughs>